Okay, hi, my name is Taiga, and I will be a rising senior at Buena Vista High School. For my starter project, I did the Big Time Watch, which is a simple watch using a crystal, a quartz crystal oscillator. My main project was object detection with deep learning using the Raspberry Pi. I chose this project because I was interested in deep learning and wanted to see how it was implemented on a device such as the Raspberry Pi. You will, you will be able to see my Raspberry Pi working as a security camera. So right now I have the program set up so that when it detects a cup, uh, a text message will be sent through Pachetta to my phone. A 15 second video will be recorded and uploaded to Google Drive. In this video, you only see the file being uploaded. Yeah. So how my project works? My project. Uh, okay. So my project consists of four Python files: a color file, an object detection file, a reporting file, and a login file. The color file contains a continuous loop to call the object detection file continuously, and the object detection file contains the code to set up the USB accelerator, which I have attached here, and stream video from the Pi camera. The recording file and logging file are used as needed to upload files to Google Drive. The most challenging part of my project was that the procedures were not there. This project was new, and I had to be the first penguin jumping in <laughs> and dealing with unfeasible software such as nanonets. My initial project was based on nanonets, a software supposed to do deep learning on the cloud, but it failed because uh, their free plan is severely limited in speed, and I was and ninety-nine dollars per month was an outrageous price to pay for a software which may not even work. I therefore had to use the Google Coral USB accelerator, and I had to change the whole of my project. To further my project, I would like to be able to train the TensorFlow light models on the Google USB accelerator. I was not able to do so because I did not have a Docker-supported desktop. To reflect, Bluestamp was an excellent program and I would recommend it to anyone. The instructors were very nice and constantly pushed me through roadblocks uh, to allow me to succeed in completing my project. Thank you. Does that have um, more number of objects that you can detect? Or how, how much are you? Uh, it's the same model, so, so 90 objects. 90. Yeah. What practical applications have you been thinking about? Oh, so for uh, the actual application, on the demo, I, I used a cup to like upload a 15 second video. Usually you use a person, like you put it on your porch or something, and then if it detects a person, you go to for like 15 seconds, see who that guy was. Uh, right now, I don't have it as a person, or else I'll be like getting constant text messages. That's annoying. But that would be one yeah, practical application. Yeah. Do you think it will be possible to add depth of field in the camera so if you're actually looking at an object, it, it, it can understand? the depth, so you can't take it with a picture, right? So a face is different than a picture. Yeah, that's probably like how full of face ID level, so I don't know if I would be able to like implement it with a Raspberry Pi, but that's something I can do in the future. Yeah. Okay. So what sort of issues did you run into with the original um, cloud-based um, that I'm trying to use? 
so the software, I used the free plan and that like limited the speed. And therefore, I wasn't able to stream a video and get the information back of what was predicted. It could only do like images, and the image took like 10 seconds. So no way I can do a video. And yeah, $99 per month. I think they forced you to pay for like a couple of years. So that's not good. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're kind of like frames per second are you able to get with the, um, the coral? Mm -hmm. Also, like originally, I did it without the coral. That was a whole different like library structure too. Like in addition to NanoLens, that got me around one frame per second. Uh, this one is probably like around like 50 or something. Yeah. And you think you could, uh, I think I see like getting uh, out of all the projects, I think it could combine with some other projects and and like two, three people could watch together and make it much better. Any such mo modifications that you guys thinking of? Uh, <laughs> I don't think we've discussed this yet. So. <laughs> <laughs>